Hey there, data problem solvers. If you're looking for a powerful tool to help you with your data science projects, you might have already heard of Anaconda. Anaconda is a data science platform that offers two products, the Anaconda Cloud, which is paid, and the Anaconda Distribution, which is free and open source distribution of Python and R. In this video, we'll be focusing on the Anaconda Distribution, which is the free and easy to use installation that you can use on your own local PC. So if you're ready to dive into the world of data science with Anaconda, let's get started with the free installation process. First, we'll go to the anaconda.cloud website and then we'll click on get started. The code online is the online cloud version, which you'll have to pay to get, but we are going to use the navigator and click on this install button. Now it's going to give you download. You're going to use this one to download the Anaconda installation and install it. Code in cloud will take you to the place where you can subscribe to a account and the pricings are listed accordingly here the free is zero dollars and the starter pack is nine dollars monthly we're going to ignore this one for now and click on download i've already downloaded the anaconda distribution it's available it, it will look something like this all you need to do is double click this one as soon as you do that you will get the anaconda installation prompt you can just click on next scroll down i agree just me next it's going to do it in the users folder Whichever is your username, it will be available here. It will going to do it in that particular folder. I'm going to say next. Now create start menu shortcuts. Yes, add Anaconda to my path environment variables. This is not recommended. It might conflict with other applications. So we're going to just leave that instead. Register Anaconda 3 as my default Python 3.10. And yes, that is the one that we will be doing it. I, I like to check this clear packages cache upon completion. So I'm just going to check that. So it just clears some of the spaces after installation. So then I'm going to click on install. Now what this does is that it's going to install all the Python packages that you're going to be requiring to do data science. In fact, I think so it's around 300 plus packages. Anything that you require initially will already be installed. All you have to do is import and get started with it. You may have to have some patience with this because of your laptop or PC configuration. However, just get, give it some time and it will install perfectly. Once it's complete, it will show installation complete and you can just say next and it will ask you to install data spell. You can click on this link, but this is a paid tool. I highly recommend not to do this one. I go to the next. And I'm just going to say welcome to Anaconda and get started with this particular distribution. Let me check this and just get go to the next step. So I'm going to say finish. After you say finish, it's going to open up two links. One is getting started with Anaconda. There is a course with that. And you'll have to give your email ID, password and all of that to be able to access this one. I, I recommend that for now you can just close this one and also register for free and uh, open up an account here. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in and I'm going to show you how that's going to look like inside. You'll see that in, under your profile section on the top here, you will have your password, subscription details, environments and all of that. What you want to go ahead and look at is the environment section. I particularly like this because once you have a certain installation and an environment set, it will be very easy for you to upload it to Anaconda and this Anaconda cloud and you can re-download this environment if you need to. For now, we are just going to close this one, close this one and I'm going to minimize this one. Then I'm going to go to the start menu and I'm going to say open this application called as Anaconda and we're going to click on this Anaconda navigator. So if I click on this, it will open this command prompt. You don't want to close this. You want to let this be open because while it's running, this needs to be open. And then you will get this green logo of Anaconda. Once that is there, the application should be loaded. And once that is loaded, you're finally in the Anaconda Navigator and you can connect and sign into this particular nucleus, Anaconda Nucleus, which is a way to store all of the environments that you have. Within the Anaconda Navigator itself, we have four sections. One is the home section where you can launch all your apps. I like to work with Jupyter Lab because of the environment and how it looks like and the paths associated with it plus it retains all the tabs even after you close all of the tabs and reopen try to reopen it will retain all of the tabs so i like this particular environment however you will see a couple of other things that are there on this you will see all application on the base root what is this base root this base root has to do with your environment this base root environment is where all your packages are installed and in case and there are 442 packages already available. Now you can go to the not install section and you can install any other packages that you want. Now that's the 
install section also if you want to update it will be updatable and you will have a blue version here you can select it and update it but that will be for another video for now this is the root environment that you will be working on mostly next the learning one this is now this is a learning place where uh, community members in and around the anaconda navigator have created a lot of content and you can read or watch videos uh, tons of material that will help you improve your skills so i recommend just checking out some of the content at this particular place and then there's community in case you want to join some community where there are visualizers there are um, you know scientific calculations and all of these these people have created some of the content that's available here and they'll be very useful in case you want to access this particular part of it. now going to the environment you can also create an environment and you can give it a name so let's say this is for you bring, building uh, streamlit app so you can do that and you can choose the environment that you want to do you can also choose to have an r environment and create it so it can tackle both r and python environments in case you require it i'm not going to do that for now that will be for another video also you can import any of your environments you can also cho choose to back up this environment and back it up in the anaconda nucleus like the previous case i showed you and you can re-download these environments whenever you want also you can choose to delete any environment you cannot delete the base or root environment also if you have another environment which you want to duplicate you can just say clone and you can do it now for non-tech users like me having a graphical user interface to create import delete or backup environments is really handy and i hope you find also this particular feature handy now with this your anaconda installation will be complete and you can explore some of these tabs on your own but i'd like to just run the jupyter lab and help you get started with just one code and check whether or not it's working so for that all you have to do is click on this launch as soon as you do that it will open up this jupyter lab and you will see there is navigator here which can be used very efficiently compared to the jupyter notebook where the navigation is directly present within this particular window the same navigation you see it's present here i like i prefer this mode where i can create jupyter notebooks consoles and all of that thing within this particular environment makes it easy plus i can stick around with and look at where the data or the python notebooks are available now i can go to the documents folder and maybe let's create a new folder here and call it test Within the test, I'm just going to go in and create an IPython notebook by, notebook by clicking on that. In case you want that launcher, you can just say new launcher and you will have this launcher to create IPython notebook. Notice it is IPython notebook. That's the one that you want, right? Now you can rename this notebook and give it test file, rename. And I'm going to expand this a little bit so that you can see it. So I'm going to say import import pandas as pd to run that it's working i can also do 3 plus 3 plus 4 and run it and you will see it will give me the answer as 7 so that's how you launch jupyter lab and write your first codes in python now you know how to install anaconda navigator and launch jupyter lab or jupyter notebook for now thank you for watching this video